Hello, Psych2Goers, and welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for the love and support that you've given us, enabling us to make yet another exploration into everyday psychology. So let's begin. Do you ever feel like you can't seem to get lucky in love, no matter how hard you try? You're trying all the things, going out to meet new people, dating apps, trying to engage in conversations with people, and hoping to find a deeper connection with them, being open-minded to the possibility of finding love. Despite all that, are you starting to feel discouraged? Are you wondering where your right match is? Dating can be a scary experience, a daunting one. If being vulnerable isn't always something that sits well with you, it's just that much scarier. Have your numerous experiences trying to pursue romantic relationships made throwing the towel in a tempting prospect? Especially with a lack of social and physical contact and the obstacles that come with that, it's definitely hard to pursue romantic relationships. Before we begin, here's a quick reminder that this video is for educational purposes only, and not to suggest that these signs mean that you've given up on finding love or that you should if you're feeling like this. Reaching out to people you trust to talk about how you feel can be a great help. But with that said, here are six common signs that you've unintentionally given up on love. Number one, if a date doesn't go well or to plan, you shut down. Before going in, do you have certain expectations about a date, only to find it falls miserably short of those expectations? You may feel you have a good connection with a person prior to the date, but when you meet in person, it just doesn't feel right. But instead of being honest with that person and telling them that you're not feeling it, you find yourself beating yourself up about why you can't find the right person and may feel like you're starting to mentally give up. Number two, you don't take up opportunities to meet new people anymore. I know how it's gonna go, or I know it's not gonna work out. Do these phrases sound familiar? You shut down potential opportunities for friends or family to set you up with somebody because you're quick to assume the worst. It's harder now to let your guard down and get out of that negative mindset. If you feel that you'd rather binge Netflix than go out and meet people, that may suggest that mentally you've given up on seeking love. Number three, you feel jealous when you see or are around other couples. Ever feel like everybody around you is in a relationship but you? Do you constantly feel like the third wheel? You may notice that your friends are starting to settle down into long-term relationships, cohabitation, and even marriage as a result. You find yourself drifting further and further away from them. Whether this is intentional or not, if you're upset about being single, being around people who are romantically involved might just be a little too much to handle. Number four, you've gotten it into your head that everybody is playing games. Ever been in a relationship where you've experienced game playing, gaslighting? Have you been at the receiving end of ghosting? Did your previous relationship leave you not knowing where you stood? These negative experiences can taint your view of everyone around you. You've built up a fortress around you to prevent this from happening again. Sometimes it can feel easier to label all people as players and give up on the possibility of love rather than face the challenge of finding and making it work with a great person. Number five, you may consider settling for someone you don't love or you have unrealistic expectations with. There are benefits to having a life partner, even if the two of you are not passionately in love. You may be perfectly happy with this. However, on the flip side, you may feel like you have to settle rather than wait for the love of your life. If you feel like you've settled or are considering settling for Mr. or Mrs. good enough, this may suggest that you're losing faith in the real deal. On the other hand, you may set unrealistic expectations about who you want to be with, when in reality, this person may not exist. Your unticked checklist may result in you giving up on the prospect of love altogether. And number six, you feel that you're unable to love another person deeply. Do you feel as though you've never been in love? Do you question your previous relationships and wonder whether what you were feeling was real? You wonder if you loved them at all. This questioning may challenge your perception of love. If it was real, why wasn't it enough? You begin to doubt your own self because it ended even when you gave it your all. It unintentionally makes you question whether you'll ever be able to love somebody or even whether you can be loved by another person. 
Feeling down when a relationship doesn't work is not something to be ashamed of, but that does not mean all hope is lost, and it certainly doesn't label you as less. It's important to know that these are common signs, but it doesn't mean that you've given up on love or that you can't feel love. Speaking to people you trust, if you have negative thoughts about relationships or dating can be of great help. Mental health professionals can help you remediate these thoughts and start afresh. So stay strong and never let go of what you believe in. We hope we were able to give you insight into some of the ways you can tell if you've begun to give up on love. If you feel like you can relate to any of these signs, please feel free to share your experiences in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit the like button and share it with those who may benefit from it as well. Don't forget to subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell for more videos. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.